I just got a new Jackery 1000 and I thought it would be interesting to show you all how I intend to use it with my uh, teardrop trailer. This is an off-road teardrop trailer that I've had for uh, four years now and we take it out into the mountains with my Wrangler and uh, uh, off-road with it. Camp in this for two weeks and off-road with the Jeep on the uh, Colorado trails. And uh, there's always been a few things that we couldn't power the, uh, any 110 devices. We have a battery here that runs the USBs so we can recharge stuff and run iPods and stuff like that. <coughs> but uh, couldn't take anything that required 110 until now. So I'm going to show you uh, a little bit closer what I'm planning to do and how it works. A uh, little bit of background a teardrop is a queen size bed in here, I'll show you in there, and there's a kitchen in the back, and I'll show you that in just a second. So here is the Jackery 1000, and uh, some of you may recognize what we're doing there, but that big cord is my 110 feed into my trailer. So now I have all my 110 plugs working throughout the trailer, not just the 5 volt USBs, but full blown 110. <coughs> Coming over here, the bed's not made, so pardon me, it's in storage mode. So for example, there's a 110 outlet right there that I can plug a small ceramic heater into, which will heat this small space, this is the queen size bed. We'll heat that quite nicely. We're planning on preheating the bed, or the, the bedroom if you will. And then uh, just staying warm within the heat that's left over with a warm sleeping bag, but we can preheat our bed now. And over here is the kitchen. As we open this, you'll see we have a sink and a stove. But we've always had to hand grind, for example, our coffee grounds every morning, which took several minutes. Now, we can have an electric grinder. We can plug in our electric toothbrushes. That was always a hassle because the Jeep has a 110 converter in it. Inverter, I should say. But it was always a hassle to have to take uh, the toothbrushes with us in the Jeep. Uh, now we can just plug them in here. That's the sink running, the water pump, running on 110 now. It'll run on the battery, so that, that's fine, but now I'll show you one more thing here. If I plug this into the battery, you can see that the battery system has 13 and a half volts in it. Zoom in there a little bit for you. Don't know if that's focusing, obviously not. But that's showing 13 and a half volts which is going to charge the battery. Right now the battery is disconnected, but if I turned it on, we'd get a charging battery. So it uh, opens up a lot of things for us. And then what we're going to do is just take this. The Jeep has a 12 volt plug in the back. We set that in the back when we're off-roading and recharge it during the day uh, because we don't have solar panels yet. I could see us getting solar panels, but Right now we'll just charge it off the 12 volt in the Jeep throughout the day and bring it here while we're in camp and have 110 volts of power to run all the 110 stuff we want. Now for full disclosure I will say uh, Jackery is going to send me a small gift for posting a video. That is what's motivating me to make this video. I'm not a prolific YouTuber. Uh, but. Uh, that's what's promoting me to make it. It's not influencing what I'm saying. Uh, as far as the product itself, we haven't used it a lot, but I, the build quality seems very high. Uh, it worked right out of the box as expected, and uh, I've ran several things on it. I've ran it down a couple of times and charged it back up, uh, but the build quality is very solid. Uh, I love the size of it, the compactness, and what it's going to do for us. I'm also putting it in in my head as a as a backup both to the battery on this system 
Uh, I always worry about running our battery down. Uh, right now, if it gets too low, I have to hook it up to the Jeep and run the Jeep engine to charge the trailer battery or obviously pull the trailer to the next spot. But I, if we don't want to do that, I start worrying about running the battery down. With the Jackery, that worry goes away and adds the 110 ports uh, outlets uh, in addition to that. So it's, it's, it's going to be nice. Uh, I uh, will let you all know we're going the first two weeks of August out to Colorado for a couple of weeks and we're going to make good use of the, of the Jackery 1000.